Hey guys, it's Daniel from Stump PPC. So in today's video, I just wanted to cover how you would go and set up conversion tracking. Like I said in the last video, this is probably the most important part of running profitable Google Ads campaigns because you need to see all the data that's coming into the account and also measuring the exact results that you have. So I'm gonna show you the simplest way to do so, uh, which will be integrating it with Google Tag Manager. It's very easy to set up. You have three things that you mainly want to track. You want to be tracking the form submissions that you have on your website. You want to be tracking clicks to call from ads and you want to be tracking clicks to email. So I'm going to show you how to do all three of those things because you want to be measuring all three of them because somebody might fill out a form and somebody might not fill out a form and just give a call instead or shoot over an email. So you really don't know what type of uh, approach people are going to take. So that's why you want to account for all possible conversion actions that you can have. As well with Google Ads, it is very data-based, as I said previously. So the more conversions you can get into your account, into your campaigns, the better they will perform because the algorithm will pick up on the type of people that are likely to convert. Okay, so the first step that we will take here is I was in the dashboard in the overview, and then you want to go to goals, click conversions and summary. And from here, you want to create a new conversion action. And we're going to do it through the website. This is the page I use on my website. So as you can see, there's a form here. There's an email. So once you click this, it'll take you to um, start an email and this will take you to the call. Okay, so right here, we wanna paste this link into the website domain part because this is the actual page that we want to uh, be tracking form submissions for or calls or emails. And so from this point, sometimes it'll show you, uh, you know, some options you can automatically do it. I always add it uh, manually with code. Um, for now, we'll turn off enhanced conversions. I'll show you how to set that up as well sometime in the future. Okay. Um, and then here we want to select the category. So we'll do the form one first. So let's say contact and then call it um, form contact form and then you can say like whatever your objective is so like free trials for example we can say just for naming sake we can just say contact form like free trials because that might be most of your first objectives um, and then from here we want to use the same value for each conversion so basically this is what it's saying is that whenever somebody submits a form gives a call or sends over an email we count as one we're not like an e-commerce company, so we don't have like different order values to account for. This is unless like you have different values for each program. From that point, you would need to add like a dynamic code if you want people to like book in and purchase online. But for now, I'm just doing um, a form submission, a call or an email. Um, and this one, again, this is for e-commerce. So you want to count every purchase that you have. But when you're counting lead submissions, you don't want to count two for one person submitting a form twice um, click through conversion window i always make these as big as possible it's just talking about the threshold within which google counts conversions so if somebody takes longer than this amount of time to convert um, then it won't add a conversion to google ads the attribution is at which point google or how much of the conversion google accredits to google ads um, i recommend da data driven um, they're taking away all the other ones except last click. So I would recommend, again, just leaving it on data driven. And we'll click done. And save and continue. And it's going to give you different options for how you can um, set up your code to start tracking this. So you can set it up with a Google tag. This is not the way I'm doing it. Um, this is basically just adding code onto the page um just for this event i use google tag manager so it has the steps here but I'll, I'll run you through it so you're understanding how to do it so once you've registered your account the first thing you're going to want to do is go to admin and then you want to go to install google tag manager and you want to copy the steps here so with wordpress you can install a headers and footers plugin um, in the plugin uh, store and then you can uh, install this piece of code through that plugin and it'll 
it'll apply. If you're using something like Wix, um, they have plugins or you can connect apps uh, just like Google Tag Manager, Google Analytics, and you can paste the measurement ID, which would be right here. You want to copy this measurement ID and then you would paste it in um, in the custom code section in the settings on the back end. Uh, and then you would have Google Tag Manager installed. Overview page. So once you're at this overview page, we want to go to overview and add a new tag. And Google Ads Conversion Tracking is what we want to call it for free trials. I would add actually contact form instead of just contact. I don't know if I just said contact here. Um, contact free contact form free trials. And we want to go to Google Ads, Google Ads conversion tracking. Um, we'll do the conversion linker after this. So it really doesn't matter what order you do it. So the conversion ID you have right here, you just want to copy this, put it into here. And then conversion label would be right here. You can leave this empty or like put it as one. I'll leave it empty for now. Okay. And then we want to trigger this on a specific page and you want to create a new trigger because you only want it to fire on a certain page, which is a thank you page. You want to say free trials form submission thank you page. Okay. And then we want to say page view on certain pages on that certain page page url contains the thank you page so we'd say slash thank you page okay and we want to click save save okay and then there's another thing we want to do which is create the conversion linker tag so conversion linker triggering on all pages and save. So now we're going to want to preview our changes to make sure that this is actually functioning properly. So we want to go to preview. Okay. Then you want to connect. Okay. I want to click submit. So I got started on creating my email contact conversion action. So you want to go to settings. And then I did the same thing. So I named it conversion contacts and you want to keep these as a primary action for bidding because these are actual um, signups like you have so a secondary action for for example would be get directions it's still uh, good to track these conversions um, but they're not primary uh, actions so they're not like actually people signing up so again like i said the more conversions you have the better it is for your google ads campaigns but again i'd leave these as primary for now i can go more so into depth um, if anybody else has questions i can go into depth in the comments okay and then we go to tag setup we want to use google tag manager again so we go here to tags, new tag, adds conversion tracking, email contact. And we want to do the same thing. So Google adds conversion tracking. We add the conversion ID and the conversion label. And then triggering. So we want to create a new trigger and do just clicks, some link clicks. And then you want to create a new variable. Then you want to do a data layer variable. And you would call it gtm.element, let's just say that. Click 
safe. And we're going to have click URL starts with mail to because that's the first component when you click email and then you click save. And then let's call this link clicks email address. Okay. There we go. Um, okay. And then the last thing that we have to do is we want to do the same thing for phone calls. Don't worry that it says inactive here. It's just because I have another uh, Google Tag Manager account with uh, my my main website because I'm doing this on my main website, which is why it says inactive. It might say no recent conversions for you at the moment. Okay, and then add a conversion action manually, contact, and then we're gonna say uh, phone call. We're going to use the same values for each conversion. You can name it however you want. This is just my naming convention. I usually do. Um, 1, 30, 30, then done. Save and continue. Okay. Use Google Tag Manager. So again, the same process. So we go conversion ID after we press New tag Google ads phone calls Google ads conversion tracking conversion ID goes right here that's the conversion label we want to create another trigger so it's, this time it will be link clicks phone calls just clicks, some link clicks, click URL. We want it to start with like that. And that way it knows to track, save. There we go. And then we have the link clicks for phone calls set up as well. Feel free to rewatch it if uh, it was a little too fast for you, or you can slow it down. Now we have three conversion actions set up. That's pretty much the goal of the video was to get you to have an understanding of how to set up conversion tracking actions. And we'll be using these conversion actions to be tracking what's going on in the campaign and other results for it.